Hello everyone, this is Hina and welcome to another tutorial of Telenium Marketing and today I'm going to share with you how can you easily create a watercolor texture in Adobe Illustrator without using the original watercolors. So let's start now with me. I just got this technique so I wanted to share it with you. If you don't have the original watercolor texture then, and you needed something uh, to show that then you can apply this technique in your branding projects. So first of all what I'm going to do, I will simply go to the window here and choose Choose the brushes option from here you can also press f5 from window and uh, command f5 from uh, the mac as well to open this and now as we will move down here you can see that the mop option is there and i will take it and go to the paint brush you can also press uh, b from your keyboard to interact it and simply drag a line like this so here you can see how the line is forming and I will place around three to four lines here just like this okay so now select everything together and here I will go with the I will increase the four uh, stroke points here so here you can see how it will be look like now so I will close it from here and simply select everything together. I want to change the color so it will be more prominent to look around. So you can see that how it will be looking like now. And here you can see that the opacity is around 18%. I want to increase it. I want to increase more. So it will be looking like this now and here what I'm going to do next I will go into the object here choose the expand appearance so it will be look like this now what I'm going to do next I will decrease the size here and keep on my side and now take a copy of this move and move it to on the right side simply and here go to the window and choose the pathfinder from here and simply unite it unite the layers like this and i will go into the search library and here you can see that the spectrum is there in the gradient section the spectrums is there so i will choose this one and change the color like this here you can also change the position of the gradients as well so it will be looking like this now and here I'm using this pencil tool to manage the edges. So okay so you can see that how it would be looking like now and now I want to keep it here just like this it in the middle now increase the opacity of the first layer so you can see that how it would be looking like that so here is the simple things that I want to share with you and now what you can do you can also play with the color as well or you can also define the different texture here so I will keep on a side take a copy of this just like this and here if I will move it down and simply select everything together with this inner layer and here I want to give it a green color and here I also want to change the color so here it will be look like this so if I will place it here so you can see that how the design formed in the same way I will place another copy of here and keep it here and simply remove it from here and change the color of the inner layer simply like this and here I want to give it a different color so you can see that how the design is forming here in the same way taking another copy of this
so these are the simple things that you can easily do by using the original mop brush and uh, uh, you can apply these type of techniques they are much uh, similar uh, there uh, you can also if you don't have the original watercolor texture then you can apply these type of techniques in your project and you can play with it you can increase and decrease the opacity and also play with the edges as more in, in a more sharp way if you want to keep it sharp then you can keep it like this if you want to keep it light or soft then you can also feather it uh, for example if i will go i will choose it and uh, to play with the edges what you can do you can just select each and everything you can just select the uh, layer here and go to the effect and here choose the stylize and feather it accordingly and uh, i want to go with the uh, 0.5 i think best so you can see that how it would be looking like that so these are the things that you can apply and you can play with it how do you want to keep your the watercolor in your project so this, these are the simple techniques that i wanted to share with you hope you like it so much for watching if you like my tutorial then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel have a very good day bye bye